RTO Today E-News. My special guest today is Kathy Skula, the new CEO and president of Color Time. Kathy, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for uh, having us. We are so pleased to be here at mm -hmm. Color Time's 2012 National Convention. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who don't know you, tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about your coming up in the industry. I think you started out as a door level employee or at mm -hmm. least a manager. Yeah. And tell us how that kind of uh, led you to stick around this long. 18 right. years, correct? 18 years ago yesterday, yes. Um, started out about 18 years ago, um, entry level account manager actually with Rena Center in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Um, through the years, kind of went up through the ranks, held every position between account manager and divisional vice president. That sure. was the one I had most recently. Um, from the Northeast, born and raised, originally from New Jersey, most recently uh, New York, upstate New York, Albany, New York. And then uh, moved to Frisco, Texas, right here in uh, 2010 with my family. Love it, love Texas, although I'm a Northeaster person at heart. And um, about, uh, about a month ago, was presented with this phenomenal opportunity for personal and professional growth. So that's why I'm sitting here talking to you today. Tell us about your thoughts on, just off the top of my head, uh, typically, at least in recent history, Color mm -hmm. Time has gone outside of the industry to recruit mm -hmm. uh, leaders, CEOs. This time it was more of an internal decision, an internal mm -hmm. employee brought in. Mm -hmm. What do you think that advantages that gives to you and your ability to steer this ship, as it were? Well, I think the advantage of having the experience I have in RTO at the level I had it at Rena Center um, is certainly an advantage. I think that having the experience at every level gives you a perspective that is unique that you don't get if you came from outside of the business. Right. Um, I think that the fact that Rena Center made the decision not to go outside and to bring somebody internal over, so to speak, um, really reflects their commitment to the Color Time brand and the fact that they really see it as part of their long-term growth, too, um, you know, the franchising arm. So um, just couldn't be more excited about it and, and uh, just happy that that's the decision that they made and that's the direction that they went in. In your talk today at the general session, you said part of the excitement of this job was that it would give you the opportunity to see a side of the industry that you weren't necessarily as acquainted with. Mm -hmm. Talk about that and, and why does that, I guess, feed your passion for the industry? Well, one of, one of the most interesting parts of it is that you get to interact with, in my role, owners and operators and vendors and, uh, you know, I love RTO operators and I got to inter interact with them all the time, but it's different now, you know, and in just the short time I've had with Color Time, I've met some incredibly smart business people, um, you know, just some of the stories that people talk about owning their own businesses and going from one store to multiple stores. Um, I wouldn't have had that with Rena Center. Um, and then just the, the full view of the rent to own business that I saw bits and pieces of in my role with Rena Center, but I was in operations and, you know, was focused on operations and had no exposure to marketing, no exposure to financing, um, to product purchasing for, to a large extent. So, you know, from a self-development standpoint, it just was the greatest opportunity in the world. And it speaks of their confidence in you, of course, as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Well, and, and in the confidence of the Color Time staff at our corporate office. You know, we have unbelievably competent people and the tenure is just incredible, you know, in the purchasing department, in the marketing department, and what we're really excited about right now is we're bringing in a franchising expert uh, where, you know, obviously I don't have that experience, but we're going to bring in a person to, uh, to kind of fill that gap and to move us forward. And the, the folks that we've been looking at so far, the candidates, are highly qualified professionals in the franchising business, multiple years of experience with all the big franchising elements out there. So I think people will be happy with the choice we make. Now, you know, when changes come, they tend to come in heaps, it mm -hmm. seems like. You also introduced a strategic marketing plan mm -hmm. uh, that was seemed to have been very popular today among mm -hmm. the franchisees I've spoken with. How do you think that's going to affect color time as we head forward? Well, first off, the, the strategic plan, we're very excited about it, but color time was already a great proposition. We just made it better with the strategic plan. 
Um, you know, there are a number of elements that, that will help us reach more people that are potential franchisees. It was already a great proposition, but we looked at what, what's still out there keeping more people from taking advantage of it. So uh, one of the elements was back office support. That's where bringing in a new franchise, sales vice president, and some other back office personnel to support our franchisees is part of the plan. Part of the plan is extending the term, because uh, we know we do all of our own financing, which is what makes us unique. Um, the initial product purchase, was a, which is a huge expense to a new franchisee, uh, used, to be fran used to be over 21 months, and now we've extended the financing term on that to 30 months. So that helps a store, a new franchisee, existing franchisee, cash flow more quickly. Um, but the big change, the one everybody today was excited about, was we lowered our royalty fees and we lowered our new store fees uh, significantly. So, um, you know, the, the, the details are out there and, you know, we'll get them on our website and everything. But, but the, the long and the short of it is, we used to look at candidates that had somewhere around $140,000 cash would be the person that, you know, would come to us and would be our typical, what we would want. With the new fee structure and the strategic plan that we put in place, we can look at people with as little as $80,000 cash uh, to, to open a franchise. You know, again, existing or new coming in. And that makes us competitive in so many ways. Not that we weren't already, but just brings it so much more affordable for people out there. Now, when you deal with a uh, franchise proposition such as Color Time, as you alluded to, all the very disparate personalities mm -hmm. that come into play, uh, what do you have that you feel you bring to the party that is going to help those sort of, I guess, mesh together in such a way that it promotes Color Time in its best interest? Well, I think one of those things is credibility in the industry. Um, I think people will, will recognize that, you know, with my tenure and position with, with Rena Center, I, I think that they'll, they'll appreciate that, that I kind of know what I'm talking about when I talk about Rento. And you oversaw 400 stores? 400 stores That's, in the Northeast, so yeah. So this is a piece of cake. So, no, I wouldn't say it's a piece of cake. <laughs> um, but I think, I, think, um, I think from a personality standpoint, sure. I have always, my approach has always been collaborative. Even when, really, it didn't have to be, you know, kind of like, you know, you're the boss. Sure. Um, is, not, is not ever the way you should approach anything in business. And I've always really believed that. And I've learned a lot over the years that you can, if you get people's buy off, if you can explain to them what the benefit is to them, that they'll, they'll be more likely to get on board with you. So I think I possess that. And I think that will translate well into this business, into, into my role here. That would be critical. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Kathy? Well, I would like to add that this is the first time that um, our Rim Time franchisees have come, yes, thank have, you. Have, come to, uh, have come to our convention, and we are so excited about it. Uh, Rim Time has never attended a Color Time convention. We just came out of a meeting with our, with our four Rim Time franchisees. Um, you know, it's a brand that a lot of people don't know about, and maybe a lot of people don't understand, but they are a big part of Color Time. They're part of the Color Time family. Um, it's a business we're committed to. It's a business I see and we collectively see as part of our long-term growth. And uh, we thought it was important to have them here. We thought it was important to recognize them today with awards for their operational excellence because there are some people doing phenomenal things in that business. And I would expect that as time goes by, their presence here will get bigger and bigger. Fantastic. Right. Kathy Skula, thank you so much. Thank you. For taking time out to talk to us today. This is RTO Today, E! News, signing off.